What's up beauties and welcome back. Let me pull you guys out of that silvery mermaid cave real quick and back into this tutorial. And don't you worry, that's what hypnotic mermaids are supposed to do. So I hope you guys are loving this hypnotic mermaid look that I created. And if you guys are ready, I'm ready. I think it's time to get magical, so let's jump right in. To start off this look, we gotta prime the skin, so I'm using my fave, the NYX Hydra Touch Primer, and we're just gonna be using tons of powders and paints today, so this is the best for hydration. I like to go over the top of this with the First Base Primer Spray by NYX, which also feels pretty magical if I do say so myself. It's time to block out these brows. I wanted my mermaid to have no brows, and this also gave me tons of room to lay down a lot of detail. So I'm using a washable glue stick first, coating my brows with this, and following through by brushing them upwards with a spoolie. Once you start looking just like this and your brows lay really flat, you know it's time to hit them with a blow dryer and speed up that drying process. So once they're dry, we gotta cover them up, and I'm using a very full coverage concealer to do this. I'm just going over them and pressing the concealer into the brows. I like to blend out using my fingers just to keep the coverage really, really full. I wanted a natural base skin tone for this look, so after you've covered up the brows, you can apply your foundation and concealer of choice. Just be sure to set with a translucent powder. Here I'm using the NYX HD Photogenic Finishing Powder on a really small brush just to pack this right into the brows, and then on a larger brush to set my entire face so nothing moves. Alright beauties, it's time to get into the eye shape and start playing with some colors. I wanted something really round, I was looking at a lot of reference pictures and I wanted something round like a goldfish's eye, and something also that was very arced, so kind of like a butterfly's wings. So I took a light blue eyeshadow and I started fading this up into the hairline. I started at the front of the brow and also the outer V of my eye, leaving the center area of my eye blank as you can see, and then I picked up a darker blue eyeshadow to really deepen everything and create some bone structure in that outer V, and also in the front of the brow bone area and once again I picked up the light blue and started fading that inward and filling in that blank area so this was a really gradient soft blended effect. Going into my NYX Ultimate Brights palette, I'm gonna start shading the outer top edges of the blue with a green. I also picked up the lighter green that's in the palette and I'm gonna start layering that on top of the darker green as a highlight. Next, we're gonna pick up everyone's favorite white liner, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. You guessed it, and I'm gonna line out the edges of the green and blend out with my fingertips. I then picked up a white eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna use this to set the Jumbo Pencil into place. For some dimension on the white we just laid down, I picked up a dark green eyeshadow on a NYX Spot Concealer Brush, and I'm gonna fade this color into the white to add some shadowing to it and give it some more structure and just a little bit more dimension. Going back into the Ultimate Brights palette, I'm using a NYX contour brush and I'm grabbing the dark purple eyeshadow for the base of my contour. I'm hollowing out the cheeks and jawline pretty intensely, as you can see, and going a little lighter on the forehead area. I'm gonna go right over the dark purple areas with the Primal Colors eyeshadow in Hot Fuchsia. This is a very pretty purple pink and it will soften everything, giving it a really gradient blended effect. This is gonna look really pretty, very purpley, very pink. I love it. We gotta get glowing with this look, so to highlight the cheeks, I'm gonna pick up this beautiful lavender from the NYX Strip of Genius Illuminating Palette, and I'm applying this to the tops of the cheekbones, as well as the forehead, the chin, and the nose, basically all over my face, and I went over the contour areas as well and laid it over that too. Moving back to the eyes, I'm laying down a white base for the shadow using the Jumbo Pencil and Milk. This is gonna make this color pop and really last. I went over the top of the Jumbo Pencil with the NYX Pigment in Nightingale, which is a really pretty shimmery violet. I'm also gonna wing this out into the hairline just like I did with the blue eyeshadow. So taking the Jumbo Pencil and Milk, I'm gonna create a line going underneath my eye and I'm gonna take this back pretty far into the hairline area, just winging this right out and I'm going right over that with a light green eyeshadow and don't be afraid to really drag this down under the eyes. I was going for a really grungy green under eye. I then picked up a darker green eyeshadow to shade this lash line and then I just smudged that out a little bit, making it super smoky and green on that lower lash line. Grabbing my NYX Pro Crease Brush, I'm gonna pick up some more of that green eyeshadow and really bring this down under my eyes. I'm also gonna be blending out the white with my fingertips to make this look really blended and really gradient. Using a dark green eyeshadow on a NYX Pro Spot Concealer Brush, I'm gonna add some shading just like I did before to the green that's on my forehead. I'm gonna do the same thing to the green that's under my eyes. This seems really subtle, but it adds so much dimension and it makes everything look kind of 3D. It adds a lot of shadow, so don't skip this step. Remember to shade. To highlight the eyes a bit, I'm gonna use the Strip of Genius Illuminating Palette again, and I'm gonna pick up that beautiful lavender shade that we used on our cheeks. I'm gonna use this on the inner corners of my eyes for some shimmer and just a pop of highlight. 
and now we can get super sparkly it's that time let's do it i use some adhesive that's safe to use on the face and then i just press some iridescent confetti into the forehead area it like reflects all different colors green pink blue so pretty and i also applied this on the cheekbones as well i packed this pretty heavily at the front of the brow because i wanted some extra sparkle there Grab an old pair of fishnets that you can mess up and pull them over your face. We're gonna create some mermaid freckles. So I'm using a white body paint to do this and I'm pressing this right into the nose area. Be sure you press down really good so that you get the whole entire area. I'm going back in with the NYX felt tip colored liner in white. I'm adding a few extra scales, just a few, and this is just gonna make them look a little bit more intense and fix any imperfections because it's a little tricky when you're putting them on. Like I said, just make sure you're pressing down over the nose area. I'm next using the liquid crystal liner and crystal pink of course and I'm creating some really sparkly scales I'm not coating all of them in the glitter just a few of them to give it an iridescent scaly white feel really pretty with like a hint of pink to add some more detail and some more sparkle I went in with some rhinestones and also some white pearls I use medium-sized pearls and I also use very tiny pearls I put these all around the high points of my face and I also put two green rhinestones underneath my eyes and in the inner corners so now we're going to do the wing liner. I'm using the matte liquid liner by NYX and I'm creating four wings. I'm doing a classic thick black wing and then just adding to it, creating some wings that are kind of drooping down and they make my eyes kind of droop a little bit. They make them look longer and they change the shape, which is what I was going for. I really wanted my eyes to look very different. So I brought these wings kind of down and they elongated my eyes. Once they look like this, you can pick up the NYX Primal Color in hot green and lightly shade around the wings just to give them a little bit of dimension and shadow. And to deepen the liner, I went in with the NYX Primal Color in hot black on that lower lash line and I blended it because it was a little bit harsh and I wanted to smoke it out and we can never get too smoky around here. We're going to be popping on some dramatic lashes to make ours blend with the false ones. So I'm going to coat my lashes in some double stack mascara by NYX and then just go ahead and pop these babies on. They're super feathery and they fray outwards so they give a really magical, glamorous look to the mermaid. Now I'm going to add a few dots around the eyes. This is kind of like the dots you'd see on a fish. I just clustered a few dots together in certain areas using the Vivid Brights liners and Vivid Sapphire, Pastel Lime Green, and Pastel Lavender. So just kind of dot around and it gives you that fishy, fish skin look. Going in with the NYX Wicked Lippy in Risqué, I'm filling my lips in and I'm also lining them for a more pouty shape. I'm going to fill in the top lip with a blue eyeshadow, making sure it's super coated. I really love that the lips are two different colors. I think it's just really different, really pretty. I went over the center of the lips with a lime green shadow just to highlight them and I was loving the way this looks. I feel like it's very reminiscent of a mermaid and it's just really pretty and very unique. So go ahead and highlight using the lime green shadow. It looks awesome. So moving on to the body, we're going to fill in our neck with a black body paint. I really lined out my jaw super sharp because I wanted to create a new face shape and just make this really, really sharp. So I layered that black down into a purple and then faded it into a green. These are all metallic paints, so they're very sparkly, very metallic, super pretty. And I did my arms in an orange body paint that is metallic as well. So I started to kind of place these colors all over the place and I love the way the orange looked over the green and over the purple. It just shimmers so beautifully and it's a really nice highlight. I went and touched with the black to make sure it was super straight and super sharp. We had to have our jawline looking fleek and then I just went in and touched up everything and this is how it looks. I actually love the way it turned out. Really reminiscent of a fish and kind of rainbowish in a way, which I love. So moving on to the scales, I wanted to create some scales that were three-dimensional that looked really cool, really real, and very creepy. So I used silicone for this. Um, I used a silicone modeling compound that's usually used for burns or injuries, but this works great for scales because it has almost like a see-through look. It's very scaly and clear, and it looks really creepy. So I first drew out the area I wanted to cover in scales, which ended up kind of looking like a lava, but once you get the shape, it's perfect. I then filled in that area with the silicone and I made sure the edges were pretty thin so they looked like they were just blending with the skin. I hand drew the scales into the silicone using a small dull spatula. I started with the face first and then I moved down the neck. As you're carving in these scales, you're going to want to wipe away any excess so they're super clean and you have a fresh clean scale cut. After you're done creating the scales, you want to fill them in with a black body paint in between. This will create a lot of depth, a lot of shadowing to make them look more realistic and make them look like they are very deep in the skin. I lined every scale with the black and they should look a lot like this for reference. 
To fill them in with color, I used a metallic purple, green, and orange, and I would randomly place patches of colors in certain areas. To get a really creepy feel, I added a metallic silver over the scales, and I just coated half of the scale in the silver so you could see the other shades peeking through just a little bit. I did this to my face as well, so the prominent color you're seeing is that creepy metallic silver, which is awesome. So now we're basically putting the finishing touches on our mermaid. So I'm gonna coat myself in glitter. I'm using the NYX face and body glitter in teal and also in crystal. And I'm pressing this into the scales so they sit in the crevices and kind of look like glitter scales, which I thought was really cool and really pretty. I next popped on my mermaid eyes, which are blue, and they kind of go with this look and give it a really intense feel. I painted my ears in a metallic blue body paint that looked really nice with the body paint that I have on. And next came the hair. So mermaids have super long hair and I noticed by a lot of reference pictures it's like reddish brown so that's exactly what I'm wearing here a beautiful reddish brown wig it's super long and wavy and I teased it for a modern feel I'm popping on some mermaid ears that I actually made myself that really go with this look and I just love love how they look I wanted to make her hands look really dirty like she was digging at the bottom of the ocean and give her a really mysterious feel you know like a hypnotic mermaid so I painted her hands in black and then once again teasing the hair for a modern twist on a classic mermaid mane. Alright beauties, this is the finished hypnotic mermaid look. I hope you all enjoyed it and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of it. Subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to share with all of your mermaid friends. Thank you all for watching today and I will see you all in my next tutorial.